believe the jury is. Your Honor, it has yet to be proven for the record. And upon your refusal, that would be looked at as dishonor. I'm not addressing it. The jury's coming out. So there's, is that a, a tacit agreement that you don't have to answer any questions as a public servant, Your Honor? Therefore, being, that's dishonor. Are you going to honor your oath of office? Stand. I'm not addressing it. Further. Are you going to honor your oath of office? All rise. So I'll take that as a tacit agreement that you're not going to honor your All oath right, of I'm office. All right, I'm going to have to excuse the jury. Mr. Brooks, I warned you that if you made any interruptions when they came out, you would be removed to the courtroom. That's what I'm doing right now. You are forfeiting your right to be present in this courtroom unless you can promise me right now you will respect prior rulings of this court and not interrupt this next phase of the trial, which is the court reading the jury instructions without interruption from you. Can you do that? Have I acted in dishonor, Your Honor? Mr. Brooks, I very expressly warned you. Have I acted in dishonor? You have disobeyed a direct order from this court. Have I acted in dishonor? You have disrupted these proceedings. I have not disrupted these proceedings. Sir, can you pledge to me that when this jury comes back out, that you will remain silent and not reference things like subject matter jurisdiction, the court's oath of office, tacit agreements, or anything? Can you pledge that you will respect these proceedings and this jury by not interrupting? Have I acted in dishonor, Your Honor? I will ask you one more time. Can you pledge to be quiet, sir? Why should I, why should I have to make a pledge, Your Honor? Have I acted in dishonor? Because under Illinois v. Allen, I believe you've already forfeited your right to be here, but you can reclaim that as soon as you are willing to conduct yourself consistently with the decorum and respect inherent in these proceedings, which at this point in the proceedings, sir, all I am doing is reading through the final jury instructions. I do not want that process interrupted by statements by you that are frankly misstatements of the law. If they're misstatements of the law, Your Honor, how come they haven't been proven for the record? And I'm asking, have I acted in dishonor? All right, he refuses to answer the questions. Have I acted in dishonor, I have given him an ample opportunity to do so. He has forfeited his right to be present for the reading of the jury instructions, and he is to be removed to the neighboring courtroom. We will be in recess until that takes place. Your Honor, have I acted in dishonor? Thank you.